Here, what I have in my hand here is a nine by six by three, nine six three uh, oval shaped driver. Uh, first of all, it's a full range driver. Uh, so it plays all the frequencies. We cover all frequency range, the whole frequency spectrum without having to resort multiple drivers and therefore have to use a crossover, which is very uh, detrimental to sound quality. The advantage of this oval shape is that we can squeeze multiple cone sizes into one. So we have a nine inch across the vertical and a six inch across the horizontal. We have two drivers, just, you know, two type, different type of woofers. So the sonic character of two woofers and one driver. And then we have also the wizard cone. So the wizard cone, which is glued to the woofer, helps the, the high frequency to extend up to 20 kilohertz easily. The woofer, the nine by six, that, that can go down to 35 hertz easily in the right enclosure, an acoustic envelope. It's a paper cone design. It's not some plastic or metal or anything. It was chosen for its sonic, natural sonic properties. This is the most uh, organic, natural sounding material that is very audible in any transducer. Is the transducer made of a metal it will sound metallic. If the transducer is made of plastic, it will sound plastic. Everything resonates, therefore you can hear the sonic character of each material that is employed inside those drivers. So the choice of these materials is crucial. And obviously the cost goes up. Making a paper cones is more expensive than making plastic or metallic cones. The precision, the paper, the choice, the everything is... everything matters. All original transducers had paper cones. It has a cloth suspension. Some original drivers had a, a, a phenolic, so a spider suspension. So this keeps the voice coil in its correct position, as well as the cloth suspension around the surround suspension. That's also cloth. It's specifically for either our horns or cabinets. They look the same, but they're optimized for different keyless mode parameters or the acoustic envelope they're made for. So they're purposely made for a specific acoustic envelope. So now I'm not talking just about that oval driver here or the shape of this driver. I'm actually to show the difference between, so this is a permanent magnet version. You can see it just as a permanent magnet, there's nothing here. And here on the other hand, we have the field code version of that driver. They're almost virtually identical apart from the wooden face plugs. So it have the same cone. The difference is in the motors. That thing on my left hand is freaking heavy. <laughs> it's almost twice as heavy. I mean, and uh, yeah, that large thing here under the, uh, what is, is my left hand, that's the heat sink, which it requires because that thing gets hot. It's a different motor, but essentially the same driver. The cone is the same, the face plug is different. This is our field coil version. So 963, because as the name implies, nine inch, six inch, and the three inch inside the wizard cone. So these are three drivers in one. It's a full range that plays 35 Hertz up to 20 kilohertz, given the right uh, acoustic enclosure. The field coil, the sound of the field coil heavily depends on its power supply. So bad power supply, so field coil going to make the field coil sound worse than permanent magnet. So a broken uh, field coil power supply was going to make the field coil transducer sound broken. Now, our field coil supplies are a result of very long research, inspecting and researching the old technology, the original technology, how the field coils, uh, field coil power supplies were made back in the last century. Unlike any other manufacturers who offer field coils, our field coil power supplies are based on valve rectifiers. And we also experimented very much with the gas filled tube rectifiers. So far, I think can, we're only going to offer the vacuum version, but we also can offer the, the gas filled version on request. What makes us very special and very different is our design our field coils is high voltage, low current, unlike everybody else who makes their field coils to be 
low voltage and high current. If one listens to our competitors' field coils, which are powered with semiconductors, one is going to notice a semiconductor character in the sound. Our field coils have no semiconductors. They are vacuum tube based. So therefore, the sound is supernatural, much more natural than any other field coil one has witnessed or seen uh, commercially made today. Now that we talked about the differences between the field coil and the permanent magnet, let's talk about the sonic character, the differences in sonic character. The first time I tried a field coil, uh, it was a, a Telefunken Siemens 10 inch from 1930s. Uh, I got a pair and I built a power supply and powered them on and listened to them. The first impression one gets is that everything sounds more organic and natural. The differences can be very much like night and day. The sound is much more direct. The sound is much more palpable. Everything seems to be seamless. It's completely effortless. So the voices, for example, that is very apparent in voices and a dynamic presentation. It sounds totally different to a normal permanent magnet. For example, voices now sound just very natural. They don't sound as if they were robots. I mean, I'm talking about the differences in comparing head to head to a normal permanent magnet. That's where the field coil is simply outstanding, makes the permanent uh, magnet sound like obsolete. Every uh, acoustic loudspeaker product we offer, whether it is uh, the monitors or horns, we also offer a field coil version. So our monitors, the 963, MTR 963, come uh, with permanent magnet, uh, magnets. So the Alnico, a permanent magnet version, and they're also offered with the field coil version, which obviously requires to have a power supply. And horns, by the way, that's another way of supercharging the acoustic energy and the delivery and the articulation of music. That's another uh, additional natural supercharger. So a horn was the original acoustic enclosure before anything else was invented, technically speaking. Sp speak of gramophones. Now, if you com one combines a field coil with a horn, the results is out of this world. This is simply, simply a magical combination. So the low frequencies, the naturalness, the directness of sound is simply unparalleled by any other means. No other transducer known to me can reproduce anything, the, the same amount of energy, the, the way articulate the music in a such a way like field coil is able to do. So if one is serious about enjoying and listening to music with the maximum pleasure, then there is simply no way one can ignore a field coil technology.